Hi, this is Jerry Edmond, and this is Success in Life. Have you ever invited someone to your house for dinner and they just didn't seem to know when to go home? <laughs> it just kind of placed them in a negative light in your eyes, didn't it? Well, you know, the fact is, sometimes we do things and don't even realize that we're doing it. The same thing can happen to you. And so I want to talk to you about the protocol that's attached to the public relation opportunities that come to you. Now, for this session, let's assume that you are the host and that you've invited somebody to your office or to a restaurant or maybe into your home. How do you get them to go home at the end of the evening without feeling awkward or maybe causing some kind of offense? It's a very difficult situation to have a guest over for dinner and they won't go home. How do I dismiss them? Let's set the scenario up right now. Let's suppose that dinner's at 730. I would say that a good time to leave would be around 930 or at the very latest, 10 o'clock. Now, I have seen people go to someone's house and stay there until after midnight. And I just want to say that unless you have been specifically asked to stay that long, they probably won't be inviting you back. I mean, you have to remember that people keep early schedules. And if they get the feeling that you're insensitive to their schedule, well, it just casts you in a very unattractive light. Now, if you're invited to someone's house for a dinner party, the rule of thumb would be that the guest of honor would actually be the first to leave. That kind of gives a signal for the other guest to follow at that time. Now, if you have no guest of honor, or maybe if your guest doesn't know the protocol, at the end of the evening, you, as the host, can rise up from your chair and just kind of with a jolly attitude, you can express your appreciation for everybody coming to the house. And you can say, it's late. I'm sure everybody has a busy schedule tomorrow. Let's call it an evening. The best case scenario for that would be is that if you know ahead of time that you have to dismiss them at an early hour or maybe at a specific hour, it's helpful to let them know in advance that you have to do something because of other obligations. Listen, I promise they won't mind if you just let them know early. Okay? Now, what if it's not at your house? What if you're at a restaurant? What do you do? Here's an idea for handling that. You can call for the check. You can express how much you enjoyed the evening and make a statement like, well, it's time to let these fine people clear the tables. And at that point, kind of everybody will begin to respond and they'll gather their things and begin to prepare to go home. And I think the same principle would apply if somebody comes to your office. When it's time for someone to leave and you feel like the conversation has come to, a, to its conclusion, you can rise and, and usually they'll rise with you at the same time. Uh, the conversation and body language should tell them that it's time to leave anyway. But as you rise in a warm manner, you kind of move toward them and then toward the door and, and end with a statement like, I really appreciate you coming to see me. All of these situations will vary depending on the individual, but, but it'll at least give you a rule of thumb. Now, why is this important? It's important for your success because how people perceive you has a great impact on how they do business with you. In other words, if you annoy the daylights out of them, they're not going to invite you next time. You have to know when to move forward and you have to know when to back off. I have found that it's better to sit down and have people wish I'd stand up than to continue standing and have them wish I would sit down. Now let me wrap it up with this. Who you are and what you're doing is far too important for you to stumble over and sabotage your influence over these silly little things. People are the gateway to your future, and it's important that you carry yourself with grace and with hospitality when you're with them. That kind of says a lot about who you are as a person, and, and when you're trying to gain trust, you need to be on your game. I just wanted to point out some of the road signs that keep you on track for your pursuit for success in life. Go for it. We hope you've enjoyed this podcast about success in life. If you would like more information about this subject or other materials or resources offered by Jerry Edmond, please go to www.jerryedmond.com.